Hi, and welcome to another five minute iOS tip from Accelebrate. I'm Bear Cahill, one of the instructors at Accelebrate, and I can't wait to show you about optional binding with Guard. It does a couple of great things for us. First, it checks to make sure that your parameters are valid or any other cases that need to be met are met before continuing, but it also unwraps your optionals for the scope of the entire function. And that dual purpose really makes your code concise, neat, and communicative to other developers. So let's look at it. So I have a simple function here called reverse. It's not the most useful function in the world, but for these purposes, it does a great job. So it takes a parameter called this, which is a string optional, and it returns a string optional. So the first thing it makes sure to check is if this is equal to nil. If it is, it just returns nil, it's done. Then it can force unwrap it because it knows it's not nil, but if it doesn't have any characters, if it's count as zero, it's gonna return an empty string. Finally, if those two cases have been met, it again force unwraps it one more time, calls reversed, and then creates a string out of that to return it back to the caller. So I have two calls here, one that returns in my name bear, and the other one returns it, sends in nil, so it should uh, get a nil back. So if I run this, the results are just as we said, my name in reverse, and then nope. It uses the nil coalescing operator, it got a nil back, so it just says nope. Well, this is fine, this works, and you know developers can come in here and see that you're checking the valid for valid parameters, or you could put in a comment, uh, validate parameters, that kind of stuff. But that's the, that's the business that Guard is in. That's his job. Let him do his job. He's got to earn his money too. So instead of checking for nil here, I can um, use Guard. I can say Guard. I want to make sure that this is not nil. So I'm going to optionally bind it. I could say guard this not equal to nil, but I haven't unwrapped it. I'd like to unwrap it at the same time. So I'm gonna say guard let val equal this and then else return nil. So now I've unwrapped this into val and for the rest of the function, that val is in scope as unwrapped optional this. So now I don't have to unwrap it down here anymore. I can just use val. Now, if I want to check its length, I can also do that as a guard. And I could say guard val.count greater than zero. I want the length to be greater than zero. Otherwise, I can return an empty string or nil or whatever I want. In this case, we won't do nil because we do have a value. It's just empty, so we don't want to bother reversing it. We'll just send back an empty string. Now, I could also do this in, in one line if I was going to return the same thing in both cases. In this case, we're returning different things, so we're going to use two different guards. And again, since it was uh, unwrap the optional this into optional binding into val, we no longer have to force unwrap anything, which means we couldn't accidentally set a value to nil later in the code, and all of a sudden um, it crashes when we try to force unwrap it. So this is much safer and it's more communicative even without comments that uh, a developer can come in and go, okay, guard, they instantly know this has to be true or I'm done. Because in the else of a guard, you have to throw an exception or return from the function. So and in this case, we have to say, okay, and it has to have some characters or again, we're done. And if I run it, the output's the same. So anybody calling this refactored function is gonna get the same result but we've done it in a more communicative and safe way. We're no longer wrapping, I mean, unwrapping functionals. So I hope that was helpful. I hope you're able to use guard with optional binding in your code, and I hope you learned something new. And if you want to learn more, I or one of the other Accelerate instructors would love to come out to your site and teach a course for you. For contact information, check the description, and it's here. Thanks a lot.